Hey, welcome back to Rural Food Blog. This is a quick segment on doing guacamole. Now, tons of guacamoles out there. I'm sure I like to keep it very simple. I find it's the best. I mean, for my taste, you've got to have a mortar and pestle like this, okay? Also known as a kamal. But the best thing to do is take a clove of garlic, okay? And um, however much chili you like, I'm using jalapeno, some fresh jalapeno, a de vein and you want to put some salt in it, okay? And then we're going to make it into a paste. This is the key, because what's going to happen is all these flavors of garlic and that chili are going to get into your avocados and your ultimately your guacamole mixture, okay? And you want to make it into a fine paste. If you don't have one of these, you can uh, obviously put this in a food processor, a small food processor, or you can do it on a board. You can do it actually on your uh, cutting board with the back of a knife and some salt. You do the same thing. I mean, this is important because you know, you chunk some garlic or pepper in your guacamole and it permeates your guacamole. Now, one trick to cutting, gua to cutting avocados is to take a knife, cut all around it, okay, twist it, turn it out, Take a back of a knife, or a knife, <coughs> excuse me, and cut out the pit, the seed, and then take a spoon and just spoon it out. And it comes out. Now, this is a great way if you want to slice it up. It's a great way to do that. But I'm putting it in to my guacamole. I'm also going to add the rest of these avocados I've got that I've already done. Okay? So we got that going on for us. We're gonna, we already had some salt in there, so we're going to add a little bit of salt, some black pepper. Okay, we're keeping it very simple, some extra virgin olive oil. This will also help with keeping it from discolor, okay, along with the lime juice that we're going to add. Okay, so we got the salt, the pepper, the garlic, the jalapeno, the limes, the olive oil, and basically okay, let it come together and this is a quick and easy guacamole okay we don't do a lot, a lot to it keep it simple and now we got to go enjoy our tacos right now Families here can have some tacos and uh, let us know your recipes and your tricks right here on Real Food Blog. We'll see you next time. Thank you from our family to yours. We'll see you next time right here on Real Food Blog.